<laughs> Welcome to another edition of In the Studio. My name is Preacher. It's a name out of title. And today we get to talk about chemistry. Woo. Something that, oh, these ladies are going to be excited about. <laughs> uh, thank you, Davis Media Access, for allowing us to be here. Today we are talking about a, a, an event that's happening. We'll tell you what, when, and where. The UC Davis Department of Chemistry is hosting a two-day 17th annual R. Brian Miller Symposium. That word is really hard for me to say, but I will say it again. On Thursday and Friday, March 16th and 17th at UC Davis Conference Center of Old Davis Road. Say that three times fast. I have very, uh, some really nice guests today. I'll let me introduce them to you. I have to always read this off the, off the paper. First, I have Dr. Sheila Davis. She's a UC Davis chemistry professor. And I have Nicole Nunez, a chemistry PhD grad student. So, like, what I would like to do to start first is, ladies, if you, doctor, if you... Do they always prefer when you call them doctors? Like, it's like kind of a, <laughs> something you earn or you just like... Yeah. It depends. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it's that. Or professor. You know? Professor? Okay. Yeah. I always wondered that. Because actually know? professor is, you know, not everybody can be a professor. So that's, that's true. Right. See? Yep. I like that answer. <laughs> yeah. There's multiple doctors. So yeah. doctor, <laughs> Professor David. That. Tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, what you do at Davis. In fact, we talked earlier about maybe talking about research at the end. Tell us just a little bit about yourself and what you do. I'm just throwing you guys out on the on a them right now. Tell us uh, about what you do at Davis. Yeah, sure. So I've been a professor at UC Davis for about 10 years now. And um, so I teach classes. I teach classes in pharmaceutical chemistry and organic chemistry. That's what I was looking for. for yeah. yeah. Not just, you know, a periodic table. <laughs> yeah, <probably. laughs> and pharmaceutical chemistry is really just the chemistry of drugs. So it's a, it's a cool class. It's cool stuff. I know. Um, she accused me of something earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I also run a research group, and I have grad students and undergrads uh, that work in my lab, and we work on um, DNA repair. So we're interested in enzymes that are involved in DNA repair. And Nicole is actually one of my grad students. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's very, uh, and Nicole, where are you, tell us about yourself. Where are you from? How did you get to yeah. Davis? And, uh, and what made you so motivated to be involved in the chemistry department here? Sure, yeah. Um, well, I'm a California born and raised. And um, I actually did my undergrad at UC Davis in the molecular biology department. And then following that, um, I did my master's and really wanted to come back to UC Davis just because because of the rich research environment, all of the resources they offer, um, the outreach potential that the school is uh, well known for, and also UC Davis, um, which um, I think a lot of people probably know this already, is uh, voted one of the uh, number one school in terms of um, promoting women to pursue STEM fields, and so um, awesome. for me it was I didn't know yeah, that. yeah so for me it was like cool. a lot of desire to go to a school that um, fosters um, so much support for their students, and in particular when I um, was looking at which research labs I wanted to join, I was uh, particularly drawn to Sheila's lab, um, Professor uh, Sheila David's lab, because of the research that she does in DNA repair. And um, in particular, um, I was really drawn to her research um, because one of the e um, enzymes that we study actually is, um, it, it's been shown that if you inherit defective forms of this protein, you have a higher chance of developing a particular type of colon cancer known as mute white associated polyposis. And many individuals are affected by this disease and we actively do research that can help doctors and patients understand the consequences of these inherited defects of the protein. And so um, it's been very rewarding for me as a student um, is to be able to not just do research and learn the techniques, but to have so much value in what our research does for society. So it's it's great. <laughs> all right, something just hit me. Like all of a sudden, I am like the dumbest person on this. No. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but that's it's very interesting work, and you got ladies are very oh, that's some, that's some important yeah. stuff that's going on around here. Well, I a lot of people that. don't realize like you know how chemistry just mm -hmm. touches on so many Correct. different things, You're and so you right. wouldn't like, realize you, you that have a certain view of, of chemistry. Chem as just like test tubes and numbers <laughs> yeah. and like things. And you got what you're doing is actually great work. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, you know, it's pretty actually amazing. You just, like it blew my mind away of just what you're saying right now. And I'm like, are you, 
I thought we were talking about chemistry. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, our research you know, directly impacts chem cancer and medicine. and That's awesome yeah. and amazing. And actually, Nicole has a personal cancer story. I don't know if she wants to share it. But. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> and that's the thing, too, is, you know, um, I've had... Um, you know, I, I did lose my mom to col colorectal cancer, and I know that there's a lot of people out there that um, who have been afflicted by disease, and it, you know, whether it's cancer or neurological, like Alzheimer's, or um, it could be something uh, like a genetic disorder that you're you're born with. And I feel that that by pursuing science and especially like in our chemistry department, it, it, that's, this is one of the ways that we can help study these diseases and help all those people that are affected by those well, diseases. I will tell you this, and we'll, we'll get to why you guys are here. Mm -hmm. Once again, thanks for being here at Davis Media Center. Uh, but I am a cancer survivor, so I believe that as well. Oh, well that's you. another story for another day. But yeah, yeah well, we'd love to hear. Six, six yeah. years, uh, you know, well, they, you get past five and they're yeah. like, you're good. <laughs> you're good. That's so awesome. we are here yeah. for a good reason. Let's not bring it down, <laughs> yeah. guys. You yeah. know, then we all start crying. You're a survivor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What is the Miller Symposium, ladies? Whichever one you want to start, that's why we're here today. What's the Miller Symposium? If you guys want to give us a brief or detailed, you mm -hmm. know, whatever you want to say. I, I'm mm -hmm. really struggling. I never, I've used the word symposium. I didn't know that's how you spell it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so what's the Miller Symposium? Yeah. Well, so the Miller Symposium is uh, this big two-day celebration that we have in the chemistry department. Um, we, it focuses on the areas of pharmaceutical chemistry and chemical biology. Okay. And we bring in speakers from around from across, around the U.S. Um, and around the world, really, that are um, from industry and in academics that are focused mm -hmm. on are you pharmaceutical. Uh, no, not this year. <laughs> I actually spoke two years ago. So we do have one of our own faculty speaking, but most of the speakers are, um, we have a many people from companies. So we have uh, a, a professor, or not a professor, he's a, a doctor from, uh, from Merck. We mm -hmm. have somebody from Genentech mm -hmm. coming. Um, okay. We also That's have one of the local based pharmaceutical yeah, biotech yeah. Com uh, companies. Yeah, companies yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we also have um, a, a young up and coming star from Harvard. So we have a lot of different speakers mm -hmm. who are coming uh, that are going to focus on these topics related and to. And this is open to the public, so, mm -hmm. uh, so yeah. every, anyone can attend, correct? Yeah, yeah you have to register, but right. you. Right. Anyone right. Can right. Right. <laughs> you can't just show up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> And then why is the Miller Symposium so beneficial to students? Do you want to both, I'll start with you and then you can piggyback if you would like. Yeah, yeah. yeah sure. Um, so one of, as a graduate student, um, and this um, is also open to undergraduate students or even if there's um, high school students in, um, that are interested in the area who might want to see like what kind of research our department and is going on in the field of chemistry and chemical biology. Um, so the in terms of the Miller Symposium, one of the um, most beneficial um, uh, events that happens at the symposium, besides all the great talks that we have, right. is the poster session. And that's actually sponsored by the American Chemical Society, the Sacramento chapter. And um, this uh, poster session, I've participated in uh, a couple years now, and it's a great way that students are able to get feedback on their research, learn about other research topics that are happening in the department, and all of this um, um, active work that is looking at targeting all of these different types of disease pathways and trying to understand um, how either ways we can pursue cures or try to just understand the disease. So it, for a graduate student, it's great to have this very almost informal networking event where I can talk to graduate students about their research. I can have professors come talk to me and give me feedback about mine. So right. um, in addition to that, um, we also get, um, but there's also chances to get research um, awards for either your poster presentation, there's scholarships that are offered. Um, in particular, we have the Francesca Miller Undergraduate Research Award that goes to um, an undergraduate who was um, who has shown um, excellence in research. And actually, um, Sheila's a previous undergraduate a researcher won an award a couple years ago. So that was exciting for our lab. And oh, um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and we also yeah, that <laughs> undergrad is now, um, she's, she was working at uh, Novartis, mm -hmm. a company in, the ba in Boston, mm -hmm. and now she's going to be going to medical school. So mm -hmm. that's she's awesome. like, yeah. so, yeah. yeah. And that's all for you guys. <laughs> yeah. So I, I would like to uh, kind of, you know, I, I won't lie. Some of the things you guys say are a little over my head, you know. But I'm 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 intrigued, and went, so I would like to maybe just talk briefly on why the 
educational aspect is important mm -hmm. to, for the people to come, and then maybe why the layman's person like myself, who's just a poli sci major, it will, mm. will be important. And then we'll just kind of uh, go from there, and then we'll, uh, we'll once again say where it is and the dates and, and all that good stuff. So, so why why should I, as an academia or person, come? And I'll let the doctor, or the professor, <laughs> maybe. Uh, yeah, well, definitely this. the people that we've chosen to speak are you know the right. le leaders in their fields, mm -hmm. and they're doing really the cutting edge research, and you know learning about drug development and as well as potential cures, that's really exciting. Um, and just networking with these people that's and getting their right. ideas. So for, for scientists, for the students, it's a great opportunity to really just you know see what's out there and mm -hmm. to see how people think about science and to learn new things. Mm -hmm. um, for you know, for the lay person, um, <laughs> you know they might not get everything, but right. I think they might learn something, and also just maybe to appreciate like how you know how complicated and just all the various mm -hmm. facets of chemistry there are, and that how it all comes together mm -hmm. um, to solve sort of big problems, mm -hmm. um, and that it you know takes these small steps and just mm -hmm. to learn. Well, you about both it. are going to be there. Right? Yeah. Oh we're yeah. Gonna be there. And there's also going to be a lot. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of fun stuff too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, totally. And like definitely, you know, in terms for the layperson, like. You know, one thing that I mean, we've I think we've all noticed recently, you know, in terms of the media and, uh, you know, we've heard uh, lots of different like conflicting views on important topics like, you know, climate change. And and I feel like the, attending conferences like this, if the public um, pursues avenues of, of, of rich knowledge like this, they're able to get. Um, the information from the source, from the researchers right. who are in the fields doing the work, and they they'll tell you this is what my findings are. They don't put it. They're, they're, the researchers don't want to. And you can make your decisions on yourself. Exactly. Right, you, right. you know, our job right. is not to put a spin on it or to sell. Or to you know, have a certain type of opinion. I love yeah, that. We yeah, we yeah, we just want to present our results to you clearly, <laughs> and then as the public, you can make your decision about how do you feel about these topics. And, and I love that because yeah. not only can you make it your uh, opinions, you can make a. Educated, educated opinion. opinion. Yes. Like yeah. not, not based on you know <laughs> motives or whatever. Facebook. Or, <laughs> yeah. Don't bring up Facebook around yeah. here. So tell us. Uh, so I'll I'll once again mention real quick. Uh, you can register at the conference, uh, ucdavis.edu/miller. Mm -hmm. And I want to go ahead and say that real again. Is that the only place, or do we have another place that you can? Uh, that's uh, the main, yeah, best place. And if to send you them. wanted to get some more information, is there another place that you guys could go to, or is this? Yeah, just the chemistry the web website would also yeah. be good. I think yeah. if you so go to the chemistry website and look under um, um, the seminars, the seminar. Tab. Tab. So UC yeah. Davis chemistry website. Mm -hmm. You look under the seminar. So once again, I'm going to say that real slow <laughs> because a lot of times people talk fast and we don't know where we're going. It's <laughs> UC Davis. Dot edu slash Miller. Mm -hmm. Let's once again tell you uh, it's the UC Davis Department of Chemistry. It's, uh, it's the 17th annual R. Brian Miller Symposium. I did not mess up on that word today. <laughs> and it's on Thursday and Friday, March 16th and the 17th at the UC Davis Conference Sitter off of Old Davis Road. Perfect. Is that close to here? Yeah. Where, where's Old yeah. Davis Road? Is that near By the 80. university? Yeah. My guest today is Dr. Sheila David, UC Davis chemistry mm -hmm. professor. You have something else, or if someone want to get in contact with you, you go through UC Davis? Yeah, if you go to the, our website, you can. there's a list of faculty, so you can find my email. If, uh, okay, and once again, email. thank you. And once again, thank you, Nicole <laughs> Nunez. I mm -hmm. had to do the you know, little Not check over yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> She's a chemistry PhD grad student, mm -hmm. you know, and I, like, I love... Uh, you ladies passion for this thing mm -hmm. and uh, before we go if there's anything else that you would just maybe like to share with our audience and share with the program about you know anything it could be a personal experience and why this is just important for the community then that would be appreciated yeah. so. I mean this is one of the, f the things that I one of my favorite events that we have every year and mm -hmm. I just think it's a great event to celebrate chemistry and all the good things about chemistry mm -hmm. and all the the hard work and good things that people are trying to do. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, love to have people come. I can and, tell you guys and, like this too. Like yeah, you're yeah. in a good mood about it. Yeah. <laughs> it seems yeah. like you're excited yeah. or yeah. happy. It's a you're fun not day. Like, like, oh, yeah. We have good, good things too. Sometimes we have um, we have some people that will be 
serving some wine, but you have to be, you know, okay. at, during the poster session. Yeah. <laughs> so once again, ladies, yeah. I would like to thank my guests for coming here. This is in the studio. Once again, mm -hmm. Davis Media Access. I'd like to thank these two ladies for being here today. This is in the studio. Once again, my name is Preacher. Thanks for letting us talk to you and inform you about the events and what's going on in local and media access. Thanks again, guys. Ha, ha, ha.